What's up guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between the CUDA and CPU rendering versus the RTX rendering inside 3ds Max and V-Ray. I know a lot of people have been asking me about how the RTX 3090 is performing in 3ds Max, especially when rendering. So hopefully by the end of this video we'll kind of see uh, kind of like a baseline on how this RTX 3090 performs in situations like rendering CG or using 3ds max okay so we have here's the scene that i used last week with my stormtrooper short skit uh, if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out so you can kind of see this environment here uh but i'm gonna go ahead and look at the render setup here so if i press f10 this window is gonna pop up now i'm gonna be using just default settings really so i'm gonna do a single frame i'm gonna change this to 1920 by 1080 and i'm gonna go ahead and save it into a folder that i created called versus I'm going to call this combined. I'm going to change it to an open EXR. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to go ahead and full float is OK. And then what I'm going to do is go to our V-Ray tab. I'm going to leave it at 1200. I am going to change this to bucket though. But basically we're going to be leaving everything by default. But just changing one thing in this window right here in the preference tab. If you click here, you'll see that you have two choices when rendering V-Ray GPU 5. So you have CUDA and you have RTX. So let's go ahead and do CUDA first. Uh, everything here should be default. I don't have a distributing rendering or anything like that. And then we'll go to settings. Everything here should be default as well. Image sampler, Lancos, sRGB here, so on and so forth. So uh, the only thing we're going to be changing is the a render right here the render devices okay so v-ray 1200 everything bucket 0 0.01 is okay let's go ahead and click render actually let me go ahead and save this okay so let's go ahead and click render it's gonna open the window here and i'm gonna go ahead and just scoot this up a little bit to the left so you can kind of see the time like so it's kind of loading so give me a second and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and open the task manager so you can see the performance. And as you can see, it's using both CPU and GPU. All right, so you got 100%. I am using an Intel 10900KF. I overclocked it to 4.99 gigahertz, and it is a 10 core. If you go, let me see if I can move this to the left. Right here is 10 cores, 20 threads. Uh, base speed is 3.7. And then, as you can see right here, the GPU is only using 48%. But if you go to performance, right, and I click on GPU and change this to CUDA, you're actually going to see that it, that is using a lot more. So what I'm going to do is just stop recording so you know I'm not taking a lot of uh, resources away from the system. And then I'm going to come right back. Okay, so it looks like the render is finished, and we're going to be taking a look and see how long it took um, whenever we actually render the second part of this video. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is the image here, and let me go ahead and clear this out because we're going to go ahead and start the other render device. So if I go back to the render setup here, all I'm changing is this RTX right here. So it's going to select the RTX 3090. Make sure everything else is good. 1200, nothing should change. And I'm going to change the name here to RTX. And then all I have to do now is go ahead and click render again. So you can see right here, your last frame time was 3 minutes and 37 seconds. So technically, that is what the RTX is trying to beat as far as rendering. So I'm going to go ahead and Pull the GPU back up, the task manager, and I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording again so it's not going to take a lot of resources away from this render. Alright guys, so the rendering for the RTX version is finished as well, and I'm going to go ahead and check out how long that took. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the test here. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go ahead and clear this image once again. And basically what we're going to look for is the last frame time, rendering time. So let's go ahead and go back. It really doesn't matter what I have here. So let's go ahead and click render. And then the frame time for the RTX is 2 minutes and 25 seconds. So that's, I think, a minute faster than the CPU and GPU combined, which that's 
freaking amazing if you ask me so what we're gonna do next is go to davinci resolve and take a look at the renders from both the cpu and gpu and just the rtx 3090 all right guys so i have the two files now in davinci resolve 17 so let's go ahead and drag and drop them now that's the combine and this is the rtx and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and blow these up. And I know it looks wrong, so let's go ahead and go to our color tab. And uh, a way that I kind of fixed this is if I go ahead and right-click here, go to LUT, and I go to VFX IAO, I can actually convert this from linear to, I do like airy log C, and that's going to convert it to a flat profile. I'm going to Alt-1 and just Control-1 to the other one as well. So as so you can see, that's nice. And if you want to, you can go ahead and, you know, apply that Rec. 709 from Airy. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the second one as well. So now you have two identical uh, color. So if I go to the first one, which is, I believe, is the combined one, I'm going to go ahead and blow that up. Control F. So you can see right here. Okay. And then if I go to the right, which is the RTX, I mean, if you look at this scope, you're going to see that there's a slight difference that you can't even see with your eyeball. You know what I mean? So, and if you look here, you can see it changing just a little bit over in this area. And I can zoom in in here so you can maybe see it a little bit better, but I don't think you'll be able to. I think it's somewhere in this area. Yeah, no, I can't see it at all. And that, that is just insane. You know, the RTX method rendering is almost, I think, a minute faster than the GPU plus uh, CPU method in V-Ray. And this looks absolutely amazing, you know, for rendering for two minutes per frame. But yeah, guys, I just pretty much wanted to show you guys a comparison between the uh, RTX 3090 rendering in V-Ray in 3DS Max. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I will see you guys later.